Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Edge Designs in the first of a series of videos that I'm putting together because I have stupidly decided to start collecting vintage Batman figures. Strictly just the Dark Knight collection and the Batman Returns collection from Kenner. As you guys know, I only collect the Michael Keaton stuff, so I'm not going to be buying any of the other, um, you know, Batman Forever, and Batman Robin, Batman the Animated Series. I'm not going to be collecting any of those, but the original two um, lines from Kenner for the Tim Burton films, I am slowly obtaining. I do have four in the mail right now, one from the Dark Knight collection and three from Batman Returns that I got pretty good deals on, and today we're going to look at what they are going for on eBay today, and hopefully not make you cry, because a lot of us had these as kids, a lot of us chewed the ears off of them or lost pieces, it's actually surprising how many of these things are on online with no ears, I thought I was the only kid that ever did that, but it seems like a lot of kids back in the 90s bit the ears off their Batman figures, don't know why, but some of these prices I am kicking myself, and some of these prices I'm also a little surprised that they're not as expensive as I thought they were going to be. Alright, so this is number one in a series of videos. Uh, what are these figures going for today on eBay? So, this isn't what they sold for, this is just what is the cheapest listing on eBay right now in US and Canadian for these figures. Let's do it. Alright, so coming in at number one, which is pretty surprising to me because it's a deluxe figure. Also, real quick, I'm going to give you guys the price in US and Canadian because I am Canadian, so I will be paying more and you guys can see just how this is going to hurt my wallet. But Number one on the list is the Deluxe Claw Climber Batman at $23.49 is the lowest price that I can find on eBay right now. That's in US and in Canadian, $32.48. Pretty surprised because this is a deluxe figure. It comes in a bigger box and it was a little bit more, um, you know, it was a nicer figure. That's why they made these the, the, the deluxe figures. So it's pretty surprising to me that a Deluxe came in last for price. And again, these are just eBay prices right now. Um, I didn't, I went what they're going for right now. Not what they've sold for, just the lowest price plus shipping worldwide on eBay. And that is the price. $23.49 and $32.48 Canadian. Alright, number two. Number two is a figure that I did order, and the reason for this is because this is actually historically the very first Batman figure in a crazy color, and that is the infamous Tech Shield Batman. This was the very first time that Batman was in a different color besides the traditional blue-gray, blue-black, or black. And Tech Shield Batman is going for $25.40 and $35.12 Canadian. So I did secure Tech Shield Batman. He should be here right away. I did have this one as a kid, so I definitely wanted to get it. Um, I've seen a few other figures that weren't Batman online for a little bit cheaper, but I wanted the first one that I got to be Batman. So Tech Shield Batman comes in at $25.40 and $35.12 Canadian. Next up, we have Wall Scaler Batman. He comes in at $33 even, US and $45.63 Canadian. This one, I believe I did have as a kid. I either had Wall Scaler Batman or Iron Winch because they're literally the same figure just with different accessories so I don't know which one I had but I definitely had one of them but Wall Scaler Batman comes in at $33 even US and $45.63 Canadian. Next up we have Iron Winch Batman so 
exact same as wall scaler batman just a different color uh sorry just a different accessory but literally the same figure and he comes in at $39.99 us and $55.30 canadian so as i said i definitely had either iron winch or wall scaler batman because they're literally the same figure they just come with a different accessory kenner did this a lot there's like three black batmans in series one there's two blue and grays and then even when they got to the batman returns line they re-released a lot of these figures that was another thing that i forgot to mention well before we started is at least six of these or more are re-releases for the batman returns line so I only went judged off of what their prices are going for for the Dark Knight collection because a few of these, um, like Crime Attack Batman, was re-released for Batman Returns and prices vary on him, but I went judged just on the original release for the Dark Knight collection. So Iron Winch Batman comes in at $39.99 and $55.30 Canadian. So, next up we have Bruce Wayne that has the quick change Batman armor. I don't remember having this one as a kid, but I definitely remember seeing the toy commercials for it. Or like It was definitely present in my childhood, but I don't remember having it. I definitely did have a Batman animated series Bruce Wayne figure and also a Batman and Robin Bruce Wayne figure, but I don't think I had this one. So Bruce Wayne comes in at $39.99, so he's actually tied with the last one, and $55.30 Canadian. So four and five, so that was Iron Winch Batman and Bruce Wayne are actually tied with their price. So the Bruce Wayne figure, they also re-released it for Batman Returns, but this one is judged on his Dark Knight collection going rate right now on ebay not his batman returns going rate literally the same figure a lot of them just had either repainted accessories or repainted costume but it was literally the same figure so bruce wayne 39 dollars and 99 cents and 55 30 canadian Coming in at number six, another deluxe figure. It's really strange that the deluxe figures are going for less than some of the normal figures. So at number six, we have Night Glider Batman at $49.49 US and $68.44 Canadian. I don't remember having any of the deluxe figures. Their color schemes, I feel like I would have remembered because I do remember having these as a kid. I basically could, if, if I had a picture of all of them in front of me, I could tell you which ones I had, and I don't remember these colors at all. Um, the gimmick with the old Batman figures was, besides Laser Batman, who had like this webbed pattern all over him that was sculpted in, all of the Batman figures were exactly the same. They just had a different color and came with different accessories, and I don't remember having Night Glider Batman. But, again, uh, a deluxe figure, not at the top of the list, which is pretty strange to me. Um, $49.49 US and $68.44 Canadian. Next up, we have a figure from Series 2, and that is Thunder Whip Batman, which had a whipping arm, but it was basically the exact same as Crime Attack Batman. It just... They put a spring in his arm so he could twirl around this weapon. I don't remember having this one. I think all my Batman figures were just the standard articulation figures. I don't remember any of them having gimmicks. So, Thunder Whip Batman, which is the second figure in Series 2, comes in at $55.89 US and $77.29 Canadian. Like I said, I don't remember having this one, but it's definitely cool. It's that black color, just like the Michael Keaton Batman costume. Um, so Thunder Whip Batman comes in at number seven. Coming in at number eight is the only villain from series one, Sky Escape Joker. 
Skyscape Joker comes in at $59.94 US and $82.96 Canadian. I definitely feel like I did have Skyscape Joker, but I also could be mistaken and have only had the Toy Biz Joker. I can't remember. I definitely recognize both of them. But I don't remember which one I had. I, I mean, I know that 100% I did have the Toy Biz version. 100%. But I, I remember having multiple Jokers. And I don't remember if I had this one or not. But anyways, the only villain in Series 1 was Jack Nicholson's Joker. That came in at $59.99. And $82.96 Canadian. Next up, we have Shadow Wing Batman, which is just in that black costume again, but this one's gimmick was that the wings flapped out. Now, I don't think I had this one as a kid because I remember seeing the commercials for it on TV or at the beginning of VHS movies that I watched at the time. They always had the Kenner Dark Knight collection being advertised and stuff at the beginning of a lot of Warner Brothers films. And I remember making, like these wooden pieces out of like like these uh like almost toothpicks to try and mimic the cape and like taping them onto my figures so i don't think i had this or i wouldn't have done that when i was a kid but shadow wing batman comes out uh comes up as 70 dollars even us and 96 dollars and 80 cents uh canadian so, like I said, I don't remember having this one, but I do remember trying to mimic it, and I definitely knew about it. But I feel like if I did have this figure, I wouldn't have been going to such great lengths as a child to try and get my Batman's wings to open up and stay there. So, Shadow Wing Batman, $70 even, US, and $96.80 Canadian. Now, we actually have a tie for second place. These are the two most expensive Batman figures in second place. First we have the very first figure in the line from series one, Crime Attack Batman at $74.95 US and $103.64 Canadian. Now this again is judged off the Dark Knight collection Batman. Crime Attack Batman was re-released for um, Batman Returns, but his prices vary. I'm going judged strictly on Crime Attack Batman uh, from the Dark Knight collection. So, the very first figure from Kenner in Series 1 was Crime Attack Batman, and today he's going for $74.95 US and $103.64 Canadian. And tied with first, uh, second place with um, Crime Attack Batman is Deluxe Blast Shield Batman at also $74.95 and $103.64. So this was, uh, I believe, the first Deluxe figure, Blast Shield Batman. Again, I don't think I had any of the Deluxe figures because I don't recognize any of them from my toy bin as a child. But Crime Attack Batman and Blast Shield Batman are tied for second place as the most expensive Dark Knight Collection figure today at $74.99, sorry, $0.95, cents and $103.64. Now, before I get into the number one, which is the last one, well, second to last one on the list, as you'll see here in a second, there is one more figure from Series 1 that I could not find a price for. It was one of the re-releases into the uh, Batman Returns, which is the only listings I can find for it, and that is Power Wing Batman. I cannot find a listing for Power Wing Batman. There are zero um, on eBay, and I tried to keep it consistent by going only eBay prices. I didn't want to go to any other sites and try and find it because that would not be fair because their sites might be, uh, those sites might be less money. So I could not find a price for Power Wing Batman. Zero listings for him in box. Um, I could only find listings for the, the Batman Returns figure 
uh, Power Wing Batman, which was the same figure, different color, different colored accessory, but the exact same figure. And I didn't record a price because it's it's pointless because it's not for the uh, Dark Knight collection. So the Batman Returns figures could be less money than the Bat uh, Batman Dark Knight collection. So Power Wing Batman is the only one that I did not get a price for. Now let's get on to the most expensive figure from the Dark Knight collection. Number one. So at number one, the most expensive Batman figure was actually the last figure released in Series 2. And judging based on some other YouTubers who have talked about the Dark Knight collection, the reason for this is because there wasn't very many of them made because it happened right before they started making Batman Returns figures. This figure came out, like, literally... He came out, and then immediately they started making... Batman Returns figures. So, number one for the Dark Knight collection, most expensive figure today is Knockout Joker, which was the second Joker released. I believe it's the exact same mold, but he's just a different color, different accessory. And drumroll, he comes in at a whopping $230 US and $318.06 Canadian. I definitely did not have this one as a kid, and I'm kind of happy about that because if I did have this one as a kid, I would have opened it, I would have played with it, I would have broken it, I would have had it thrown away by getting grounded or some type of punishment, and I would be beating myself up right now looking at this crazy price for a plastic Joker figure. Knockout Joker is probably going to be the last one that I try and collect for the Dark Knight collection just because of how expensive he is. If I do find one at some little shop, which I don't feel like I ever will, I'm definitely going to try and pick it up because $318.06 Canadian, that is a hole in the wallet. So, there you go guys. That is... The entire Kenner Dark Knight collection, series one and two, just the figures, um, price list. So as you can see, some of them are pretty obtainable. Other ones, you're going to have to save up for a bit if you do want to grab them, especially that knockout Joker. And, you know, Blast Shield Batman and Crime Attack Batman. I mean, they're a hundred bucks, but I mean, it's just a hundred bucks, whereas 300 for the Joker. This makes me laugh because it's public knowledge that, you know, Jack Nicholson, who was the supporting role in the Batman film, did make more money than Michael Keaton in the movie. And even his toys are worth more. And I just find that kind of funny. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we will take a look at the Batman Returns figures. And by that time, I should have three of them in hand to actually show you in person. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.